In flight physiology, it's important to be able to predict the behavior of gases. Our aircraft fly in a sea of gases, mostly nitrogen and oxygen, and our patients are simultaneously sustained and threatened by gases. For a number of reasons, we need to know how the properties of gases, such as temperature, volume, and pressure, will change as our circumstances change. For example, we need to predict and understand why a patient who has a small pneumothorax might suddenly deteriorate during flight, or why it becomes increasingly difficult to oxygenate our patients as altitude increases. While there is a unified gas law that makes calculations pretty straightforward, we're going to focus here on the constituent gas laws that go into a single equation so that we can isolate the lesson or the insight about the behavior of gases from each one. Most sources teach the gas laws as a simple list, sometimes in order of importance and sometimes just alphabetically. But part of our approach at CME Surfer is to build lessons based on sound educational practice. We're interested in how you learn, and we aim to give you a functional understanding of the material. So the gas laws will be presented in an arrangement that helps to make sense of their meaning and the interaction between them.